Hi guys, so I've now had the car for some days now and I've had a numerous amount of requests for me to make a review part two. So this is what this is. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through some of the questions that I've been asked during the last couple of days. But more importantly, I'm gonna take the car for a test drive, which I didn't do in the first review. So I arranged with one of my good friends that he's, he's gonna be the cameraman and I'm gonna be the driver. And hopefully through this video, you're gonna get a better feeling of how great the car actually is to, uh, to drive. Um, as far as my feeling around the car has not changed, I really think that Fisk have done an awesome job with this car here. And um, that is still the same. So uh, stay tuned if, if you wanna hear more about the, the car. So I'm driving here at night, almost 11 p.m. here in Denmark, and I've put on the the digital rear mirror. I'm not just going to turn it back to the regular one, so you can see the difference here. But it's so high resolution; it's fully adjustable and um, and really, really good light in that camera, so you can even use it here at night time with no issues. Now I'm just going to put on cruise control and then I can adjust it. So now I'm going 40 and if I want to go one up at a time, I just scroll a bit and if I can scroll fast, it goes up to the nearest 10 just like that. So, um, I mentioned that the car has a really, really good suspension and the area where I'm driving now is still under construction, at least some of it. But they have already installed some small speed bumps here. When I drive over these, it's very comfortable. I didn't go that fast here, but it is really, really comfortable. Sound. So you can see up here actually that we uh, it also registers the colors of the signals and it also registers that I'm turning to the right and the brake light is uh, is on as well. We go green, it registers green straight away as well. So I, um, I'm driving with my son right now and he's sitting in the back and uh, I just put on Netflix just for him to watch and um, here with the sound system in the Fisk Ocean 1 you can actually choose where are the speakers to play and I'm driving now having a conversation here with my cameraman Lars without any issues because of the sound system only playing in the back. If I want to activate the full 3D surround system the sound will be in the entire car, so that's why that one is off for now. Well, that's a cool feature in the, in the car. So here I'm driving at the, the highway, and I'm not driving that fast, but the car can easily go up to the speed. I'm driving in the earth speed, which is the more comfortable one, so this is not the hyper one, but it's even the earth one is really fast. Uh, so you can just drive with that one there, with no issues on the highway. So I'm just gonna turn on the turn signal here, and that is also being, as you can see here, the car being registered as well. Oh no, I just turned it off so you cannot see it. Um, but if I took, put on the brakes, then the graphic there is also uh, on, the, on the screen. And also you saw there, I was hitting the, the line in, in the road. And actually it uh, it also uh, does a maneuver if it gets too fast or too close to the line, it will also um, do a maneuver to get back in, in the lane. Then you can see here, I'm coming to uh, a full stop here, and it's red, and the camera 
actually registered it's right here and also registered i think that's because of the navigation system it registers that this is a 50 kilometer zone that we're in even though there hasn't been any cameras or any uh, signs showing that uh, only that we were going out of the highway so that's also cool so we're just going to put the, the car into uh, boost mode i'm at a complete stop now and then you need to confirm that it's set to hyper and then finally you need to fully press the accelerator pedal in order to activate uh, the, the boost mode. So um, the car is put in hyper mode, I'm just going to activate the boost, we're just ready to drive in on the highway here, so I'm just going to ready, get ready here. So guys, I just want to show you when we edit the the user here, then you can set up your ocean. And hi, I'm Henrik Fisker. Thank you for joining us in our shared vision of a clean future for all. And will you now sitting behind the wheel of your Fisker? You are part of that vision. I think the resolution of the car or the, of the display is really, really great. So a lot of you have asked me about the socket here in the back and when you look at the European version here, it's AC 230 volts and can deliver a maximum output of 3000 watt. And just to demonstrate it, I have brought my vacuum cleaner and it's not that demanding. Only 900 watt, but just to show you how it works. There we go. And, and I put it even on max there and no issue at all. Um, for me, that's a huge advantage because uh, living in the city, usually I have to drive somewhere else in order to get a socket where I can uh, uh, plug in uh, a vacuum cleaner. But now I can just do it from the one that is in the car. So that is pretty neat. Okay guys, so here is the Fisk Ocean 1 outside. Um, last time I didn't show it outside. Um, just taking a quick tour around the car here. And I haven't talked much about where the car has been produced, but one of the reasons for me actually choosing the car was that it was, that it's produced in, uh, in Austria uh, at the, uh, the factory in Graz, uh, the company called uh, Magna Steyr, and they are known for producing high quality cars. They're producing both for Mercedes Benz and also uh, Jaguar. So uh, that you can also see and feel on the build quality on the car here. So, what is the difference between the car here and uh, the system model Y is actually that the rims and Model Y are really, really easy to, uh, to scratch, but when you look at this one here, the rim is actually protected a bit by the, the rubber here. So uh, I would assume that you are better protected against uh, making any scratches on the, on the rims uh, on this one here. Guys, the last couple of days this car has gotten so much attention that I cannot even describe it with words. Uh, when I've tried to park the car, people have come up, knocked the window, and wanted to talk about the about the car. And every time that I've entered my parking basement, there's been people standing around and checking the car out. So now you're warned, this car gets a lot of, a lot of attention. <laughs> 